There's Lotus. Hi, Lotus. You gonna show up for the camera this time? Come on, show up for the camera. Come to the camera. She still doesn't wanna show up for the camera. Come on. Lotus, Lotus says hi. Hello, new friends. I'm back with another trick, tip, whatever you wanna call it, to hopefully make your managing stock footage slash post-production life easier. This one is a little different because I'm pretty sure y'all have already heard of it, but I want to encourage you to embrace it. And what it is, is the filter view. So while this sheet isn't from the project that I'm currently working on, the situation that I've run to in the project that I'm working on is that uh, my colleague and I often need to be working on the same spreadsheet at the same time. Um, and if I use just a regular filter, that changes everything that she sees as well. So, ah, suddenly everything's gone for her. But if I make a filter view, so go to data, filter views, create new filter view, then anything I do, let's say I wanna see just all the things that last two minutes. Okay, whatever, examples. Okay, so this is what I see, but what she sees is still this. So this is a great tool for when you're working with someone on the same spreadsheet at the same time, but honestly, I use it even when I'm not working with someone on the same spreadsheet at the same time. I love filters. I just, I love filters. They, for my easily overstimulated ADHD brain, they are a lifesaver in managing what I'm looking at so I don't get overstimulated and just being able to access information quickly. I'm gonna share screen again. Let's say, I'm gonna, since this is an old project, it really doesn't matter. So let's say I don't have all of this information. I don't have the owner information. Um, but I do have that in the file name for the certain stock things. Like you can see barcode, master, NARA, um, that's the owner in this situation. Now I could go do it, you know, row by row by row individually. That would be a pain in the ass. Or I could go to clip name, clear, filter, so that I'm only looking at things that have NARA in the file name, and then go, um, and now I've got that owner column all filled out. Like it just makes things so much faster, especially if you don't have a consistent file name system and you can't do my actual favorite thing to do, which is I have a formula for extracting text so that I can just automatically pull file names, barcodes, um, ID numbers uh, from a specifically formatted file name. But that's not this video. Hi, Lotus. I could babble about filters forever. Use filters. Use filters. Use filters. All right, I hope that's helpful to you. If you still need more convincing on why filters are an amazing tool that you should be using, let me know and I will happily babble about filters to you forever. Can you do it? Are you gonna do it? It's Lotus, everyone. Meet Lotus, the most beautiful, most angry kitty in all the world, or at least this house. Okay, baby.